Okay, trajectory, destiny, trajectory, destined being, translations, transportation, routes, paths, maps. In this project, we are talking about an error in destination or an ontology of error in travel log. And I hope we can also bring some mutations into the garden and technological systems of destiny, the GPS, from the 12th and the 16th century. And by that, we also like to investigate the flow of energy and material and the agential force or travel agency that Sadi or Adam Olearius or Sana and myself is enrolled or registered in that it sends us off to far distances. The project is Gesicht des Paradies, um, the cast of one globe to another, and each serving diligently each serving diligently in its own appointed place intermediate categories and contiguous mass of flows and tokens traveling post travel paradise roads faces gesichts and foreign affairs And I hope we can also dilate the way here that we cannot do elsewhere. The lines that the Ario draws have their origin in the process in the in the line and in the support that line receives. So line creates the drawing, the drawing causes the line, the hand that sees, the hand that perceives. This simultaneous process of subjectification and objectification of sensation is, is what metabolizes Olearius, the cartographer, the map maker, the tourist, the scientist, the, histor the historian, while he's studying the Persian object. And I like us to gradually discover what is in the image. To the image and already knowing what it is. This is the same technique that Olearius uses for centuries ago and we are also engaged in an art of viewing. How the screen surface in, in, inflicts things far and near. How the eye and the object of vision constitute each other and the erotically charged moment when the distance is sensed. It's an optical visuality, world laid bare. I wonder if it's a political aesthetic, a seeing hand relating to prehension or greifen of the world at large, the world at its imagined totality. And we, and we also know and we must remind ourselves that a world in which any ocular grasp is utopian and all is mobile articulation of space writing is spatially conceived and materially determined the explorer surfaces and volumes and cartography is a component of the literary imagination of the modern age in its early stages So the narrative of this almost early pre-modern age tells the construction of a subject through a venture or a plotted itinerary into the realm of death and back again. The construction of space is discipline that pertains to geometry. Solarius writing 
holds, it penetrates, delineates and explores space. It maps itself in relation to an autonomous signature born of the Congress of Space. We are at an early growth of a composite writing that moves between diagrammatical and discursive inspiration. And as a result of that, the creation of the self. And as a result of that, the creation of the self. So, before the Renaissance, between the 15th and 17th century, we have the sudden birth and growth of mapping, map making, cartographic imagination. We have the scientific revolution, quantification, measurement, as stressed the human body and geographic landscape of the natural world becomes a topic of interest. And we also have the emergence of techniques of plotting and perspective in representational art as a saturated reality began to animate paintings the invention of artificial perspective which caused new ways of greeting and plotting the world there was also a political unification going on in what we called nation building and to use maps to construct systems of defense was essential and most importantly we have the emerging self and the self's relation to the idea of national space. So new modes of surveying and plotting the world influence representation of the private and public domain of the individual writer that we can trace with Olearios, theatricalization of the self. It is a consciousness of its autonomy through modes of positioning in gridded and textual reality. We are having a new cartographic impulse, changing the conditions of information. We are having new taxonomies in the 15th, 16th century, new relations that individuals hold with space, and we have an emerging sense of national identity. So the self would acquire its identity through the creation of a space that bears the presence or the reminder of the mapping of its signature. Its foundational fantasy depends on an alliance with a strongly marked geographic consciousness. Imaginary space, nation, selfhood the self-possessed individuals that are coming to be. Cartographic, so far as tensions of space and of figuration in her in fields of printed discourse. And although So we have the self becoming autonomous, caused by fixed, caused by a fixed to an illusion of a geographic truth. It can be detached from the coordinates that mark its point of view, its history, its formation, and aesthetics and politics of its signature. And together, in this exhibition, through Saadi and Olearus, we start with this position, rehearsing criticism studies in terms of the birth of the subject.